Hey Joe, unlike St. X grad Luke Keekley, Anderson's Andrew Norwell had to sit through all seven rounds without hearing his name called in the draft. Now he worked out with the Bengals, but the Panthers gave him a chance and now he has a chance to win a Super Bowl in one week. These are the old stomping grounds, the place where Andrew Norwell laid the foundation for his football career. The Halls of Anderson High, a Hall of Fame display of what the Norwells have accomplished. Chris and, and Adam and Andrew, they are tremendous brothers. But not one of them, not a single player in Anderson history, has ever played for the NFL's ultimate trophy until now. The interest and the buzz that is going on here at Anderson High School because of Andrew Norwell is, is awesome. Andrew Norwell is 6'6", 325 pounds. With his Samson-like hair and mankind look, he could easily be confused for a WWE star. It's a look Norwell grew in high school, carried to college at Ohio State, and is now perfected with the Panthers. But to Andrew's surprise, when the 2014 draft came, nobody gave the big-time lineman a look. We were really disappointed. I think he was too. He was down, but after that call, he signed as free agent for uh, uh, the Panthers. It was great uh, opportunity. Uh, I said, if you're not going to get drafted, I said, all you've got to do is get in the camp, man. You get in the camp and you're going to work hard and those, those coaches are going to love you. And um, he, he, he knew it. I think it drove him to really prove that he could get it done. And obviously, obviously he has. The youngest of seven, Andrew has always been motivated by his older brothers. No one more than Chris, who spent a season with the New England Patriots and even overcame cancer. It's a motivation Andrew carried to the football field every single day. When he got between the white lines, he it was all business with him. And he wasn't uh, necessarily uh, too worried if somebody across from him uh, you know, couldn't take the, uh, the pounding, so to speak. He just keeps on grinding and grinding, and uh, now he's in a position that he got there himself. And, and that's unbelievable, and uh, we're so proud of him. Congratulations, Carolina Panthers! Two years after going undrafted, Andrew has now started 26 games in a Panthers uniform. At his position, no one has been better this season. 900 snaps at guard, not one single penalty. He works hard, works hard in practice, and we knew uh, he would be successful, but it's beyond our dream, only in his second year that he would go to the Super Bowl, and that even makes me more proud. Back in the halls of Anderson, Andrew Norwell is not yet a Hall of Famer like his brothers. His legacy here, the only state championship trophy in the school's football history. Sunday in Santa Clara, Andrew can become the first Anderson grad to ever win a Lombardi trophy. It just means a lot to my family. They're all proud of me and uh, they're so excited. And, you know, I'm in the Super Bowl 50. Uh, they're, going, they're going nuts in Cincinnati. He's got that iron curtain protecting Cam. Cam came around this year, the most valuable player. They're going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, Andrew's dad told me 13 of the Norwell bunch are traveling to Santa Clara on Friday. Mom won't travel. She doesn't like to fly. Ugh. But she'll be waiting when her son returns to Anderson, hopefully with a ring.